Yesterday we saw the furniture guys start a makeover on a comfy living room chair and today we get to see how it turned out. You might remember this chair, it did the uh, outside back in a segment or so ago. Oh, that could be next week. Could be. Uh, it, it we don't know. But this is Time a, is relative. This is a chair that uh, needs it's, to be fully reupholstered. It's my favorite, most comfortable, beat up old chair in my bedroom and I'm not getting rid of it. My bedroom. Okay. But you don't need a button in it. He's just demonstrating what happens if a button pops off. This is how you can put a button back on. A lot of people have buttons on the inside back, and that's what this is, an inside back of their chairs. Why are buttons there? It's not for decorations. It's to take up excess fabric. When the inside back of your chair is curved, there's no way to make that fabric tight so without something else unless you tuft it, which you need a sewing machine for. Yeah, not everybody good. wants to mess with that. Or you put heavy duty thread on the back of buttons and so it'll could, tighten up but you could a put curve. one two three four five buttons on this right you could put 20 buttons if they're but small you, enough you, you want them symmetrical i'm just using a button as big as a hubcap that so is a hub everybody cap. can see it the next Dr. thing Dr. saltzman you, used to use that he was an eyes ears nose and throat <laughs> man <laughs> <laughs> reflector. Very large, and this is a homemade cover button. You can take this apart, cover it with a fabric, bang it together, and then it can match the upholstery you already have on your chair. So what are you using? I'm using two ounce nylon thread, the strongest thread you can buy that ain't Kevlar. You could tie a boat up with this. You can garret a friend. You could fix a boxing ring. Right? Anything. It's very, very strong thread, and the next thing you need is an upholstery needle. This is a 10-inch upholstery needle, and I'm not going to say it. Yeah, good. Uh, and then you get both, you have threaded, or I have threaded the button with uh, the thread, and now you put both ends of the thread, you take off the glasses. Take. We put both ends of the thread, thank you. I just got both ends of the thread through Perfect. the eye of the needle, and we've got the button on the end, and what do we do? We go right Make sure it's in the center. The fabric. Doesn't if matter. I was really being careful, I'd get a yardstick and I'd measure. And what you do is you twist the needle. That way, you will not make, make a hole in the fabric. I'm sure a lot of people are saying, oh no, he's putting a hole in the fabric. I'm not. I'm making, I'm parting the weave, and the needle's going through the weave. I'm going all the way through. And I'm going to come on the outside back. There it goes. And now I'll leave off this part because I've already talked about I this see. part. Do it anyway. And I'm going to turn the needle around. Back through the same hole. I've come right back through the same hole that I came out on. And I'm going to feel around. And I'm going to come back. on the same hole I started on. Going to come back through that same hole. There it goes. Right? I haven't made a second hole. I'm coming out the same hole because I felt around and I felt for that. Now here comes the needle again. And now what you're making I... a loop inside there. Yeah, the loop through the stuffing that's creating that. tension. See, it's grabbed onto the stuffing inside. So the more I pull it, the bigger the dimple I get. What kind you get of dimple? You can dimple. get a Kirk Douglas dimple. <gasps> or you can get a, what about a Cary Grant? You can Cary get a, Grant dimples. Yes, Cary Grant. Yes. That moves Mandy, around. Mandy, Mandy, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do? Well, you got to finish it off. You pulled it tight. You can let it go now. Okay. And I'm just going to make a series of simple knots. There's a Don. <laughs> One. And two. And three. And, uh, oh, a scissors. I need a scissors. Get the right tool for the job. You don't need something this big. If it was just one, it'd be a sizz. See, this is a bad scissors, man. You gotta, you gotta get... <laughs> that's, that's not a sizz. There, wait, lock. There you go. I now declare this bridge open. There's a little excess left. We stick it behind the needle. I mean the button. I mean, I don't know what I mean anymore. It's and that's it. You got a button. It's taken up slack. We didn't need it on this. But after all, it's TV. 
and there's a lot of lying well, it's involved. it's just showing people how to put a button on. That's all. Demonstration. That's the name of the segment. Until next time. I'm Ed Feldman. And I'm Joe Lorario. And as be you always nice. say, be nice. To your furniture. Your buttons. That looks super cool, guys. Check out their other projects at thefurnitureguys.tv. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.